Well, you know we want to know about that thing. That, that thing. Yeah. Is he sitting right here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Here's the thing. <laughs> I think. Um, it's very hard at a panel and something like this, you know, you, 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 you want to break news and give teasers, but, you know, I'm very much a believer in, I don't know, I, maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I believe that people should experience the show the way it's meant to be experienced. And um, so, even as I talk about the season this year, I'm like, yeah, yeah, if it sounds like I'm leaving maybe a few big things out, I am, you know, and it's on purpose. And it's going to be worth the wait, and, uh, and and that's really as far as I can go in terms of that, you know. But um, but uh, look, it makes me very excited that he's excited about it. So, <laughs> so yeah. at least in your thesis group, does it involve without knowing what the thing it is? It involves <laughs> the <Thanks>. boys. <laughs> I think this is a non-spoilery question. Sure. <laughs> um, if, you know, we had a lot of big changes last year. We saw Crowley left in an interesting place. We saw Angels fall from heaven. Uh, is there, you know, Castiel being human, which one of those are, is there one of those that you're most excited to explore and go into? You know, I'm really excited. You know, it's like this broken landscape this season. So we don't start out with, like, the big, big bad is right there at the get-go. Is like, I'm going to kill you. you know I mean, it's like, you know, because even our big bands, Crowley, we found a, a, a stroke of humanity in him at the end of last year. So he suddenly, we find ourselves in the position of, wow, I mean, is there something more to this guy? Is there something more to watching this guy's journey? And, and I feel like that's what we're trying to do with all of our main characters here, this year from Sam Dean, Crowley, Cassiel, in terms of... We're always looking to find another aspect of a personality that, that maybe we haven't showcased. And I'm really excited about the, the character moves that we're making. Um, and I think the fans, you know, a little bit like last year in some regards, but, you know, there may be certain moves that some of our characters make that some fans don't like, but... I think they're going to understand them, you know what I mean, and, 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 and we're all going to have to live in that world, and particularly the characters who make those decisions are going to have to live in that world, and it's really going to be driving the mythology, and I'm talking around a big thing that I can't <laughs> talk about, you know what I mean, but um, I think uh, it's, uh, we've created a lot of room this year, and we're going to be telling stories this year that, that I think feel really fresh and a little bit different in the past, in that we're, we are taking time uh, to do, I mean, not to get to inside baseball, but we're doing B stories and C stories in a way that we've never really done before. We're spending a lot of time with Crowley, we're spending time with Cassiel, we're really watching these two guys come to grips with their new reality. And uh, it, it, it's made for some really fun storytelling, I hope. Yeah. What, uh, what characters will you see coming down? Well, we're going we're to see, um, let's see, well, we know we're going to see Bobby. And I can't say too much about it, except that we're going <coughs> to... Excuse me. Um, you had to get all choked up over Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, it's very emotional. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see him in a way that we don't expect, but a way that's also true to our, our show mythology and our lore, and that um, we are not sort of suspending the laws of Supernatural to bring this person back. There's a very uh, understandable way in which we're seeing this guy. Um, and, and, you know, and many people have had guesses, and with the landscape the way it is, you could probably imagine or not. Um, we're going to see a lovable character, Charlie. We're going to see her early on in a, in a really fun episode that delves back into the earliest days of the Men of Letters. Um, literally, the first two Men of Letters turning the key uh, into a, a bunker that's never been used before uh, in 1935. And the first case they're coming up against um, involves, in a way that I won't really go into, but uh, it involves uh, the Wizard of Oz in a way that we've never really seen that story approached before. So I think that's a really fun episode. Uh, uh, we're going to see uh, a character who I think some people thought may have perished at the end of last season. Uh, we're going to see Sheriff Jody Mills make an appearance. Uh, and you'll see her, uh, I think that's in episode 8. Um, and then... Um, 
That's the there. Of course, you're going to see Kevin. We're going to see him right from the get go. We're going to see uh, that lovable kid. Um, and uh, so those are the folks I can think of right now. There's a now that the ages have fallen, I mean, I don't know when they went. Right. Yeah. Well, there's various interpretations as to who's still kicking and who isn't, and who, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but uh, I will say that um, all the angels fell. So we'll be seeing angels that... Um, I'm going to sidestep your question saying that <laughs> we're going to see angels that even other angels haven't seen, you know, for reasons that will become apparent, you know, and uh, so it's really fun, I think, yeah.